Marina, and I am the secretary to the Police Accountability Board. Thank you for coming on, Marina. Um, so tell us a little bit about yourself. What led you to the PAB? Uh, well, I graduated from Rochester City School District and uh, went to RIT, graduated from there, um, criminal justice bachelors. Um, and then I began working in a lot of the big law firms around the city, um, which led me into government work. And uh, eventually that led me here. Wow, I didn't know you had a degree in, in criminal justice. Mm -hmm. Wow, okay, I'm, all I'm learning it. too. <laughs> and why, why is the work at the PAB important to you? Um, I think it's very important to me because I have seen some of the injustices go on and um, I would like it to be a safe interaction on both sides for both police and the community. Um, I actually have some, a lot of my family members actually, almost all of my aunts and uncles either serve military or police, so I want to make sure that things are just as safe for them as they are for anybody else. Okay. And what inspires you about the PAB? Um, I think the thing that inspires me most is our legislation. Um, it's really one of the strongest models that's come out in the country. Um, that, along with the overwhelming support, like our alliance is something like no other. So it's great to see how much buy-in in there, there is. Very good. And what do you look forward to the most working here? Um, I look forward to my coworkers, really. They are the <laughs> highlight of my day. Um, and working with them, you know, there's so many smart and talented people here, and it's just a delight to be able to be amongst them. Thank you so much. <laughs> and that's why I'm doing these stories, because I think it's important for the community to get to know us and the staff that's here every single day. They're so used to seeing the board members in board meetings, so that's why I want to show you guys off. Mm -hmm. And what do you see being the most challenging thing here at the PAB? Um, I think the biggest challenge is people misunderstanding what the PAB is, uh, the work we do, and we're just really out here to make sure that there's equity in public safety. Very good. Thank you so much. And what do you enjoy to do outside of the PAB? Who is Marina and what does she like to do? Uh, well, I'm a streamer, uh, Awkward Monsters on Twitch. Uh, I am a fashionista. I love to dress up and be out. Um, I stay active. I'm always going for hikes with my dog or playing disc golf. And, you know, I love hanging out with my husband <laughs> and uh, just our group of friends just having good times. Yes, and you've brought in some great dip that your husband has made. So <laughs> maybe someday cut. we can have the public try that. Mm -hmm. <laughs> um, and my final question for you is if you were a part of city legislation um, in Rochester, what would be the first law that you would introduce? Um, I think it would have to do something to do with all of the vacant buildings that are just in downtown Rochester. I feel as though we, um, we get involved in so many beautification projects, but they are still one of the most, I guess, not addressed issues in the city. So to see it turn into free or low-income housing or like a co-work space or just something other than just being abandoned, I think would be my first priority. That's amazing. And I often look around and see this beautiful architecture that is left abandoned downtown. So I, I totally get it. And I really would appreciate that. Maybe somebody on city legislation can propose something like that. Yeah. So thank you so much. And thank you, everyone, for tuning in. Follow us at Rochester PAB on Facebook. Twitter, YouTube, Instagram, and now TikTok. Mm -hmm. We'll see you soon. Bye, guys.